I think you're going to be down to your dream weight when they execute you. I think you will get where you want to go uh, weight-wise. You're talking about 146. 146. Wh- which happens to be how much I weighed the day I met my wife. And the day you killed those people. You have a way of spinning things. I, I just hope you don't mention that. No, no, no. Don't be silly. I would feel better about it if you didn't refer to me as a as a murderer. Besides the fact that you confessed? Can I not have to bring this up each time? No, you're right. You shouldn't have to bring it up each time. Uh, you know, I got my own uh, stuff going on. I'm being audited. I'm sorry. I want to wear the suit that I was wearing the day... Right, and you know, as your lawyer, I feel that a great injustice has been done and you have been so terribly wrong. Not about the murder that you committed, but about the fact that the state won't pay for your Weight Watchers meals. And believe me, it hurts me. Especially since I've tasted the desserts. They are delicious, my friend. Yeah, really good. And you take the D out of death row, and you put it back in delicious where it belongs. Do you harbor any anger about the way in which our mutual friends perished? You mean the murder? Well, again, there you go again. Absolutely not. I feel no resentment. I actually, uh, I won't say I feel good about it, because that would be a lie. Right. It could be in my mind, but... My glasses don't slide the way they used to. No, no, no. You have definitely lost weight. I see cheekbones where I used to just see cheek. Yeah. You have definitely lost. As a matter of fact, you have an aquiline nose that I had not noticed. Thank you. That before I used to think, oh, what a fat nose. Right. So keep up the good work, my friend. The way these things are cut, Tom, these uniforms, they make, right. they're mass produced. Why do you think Tommy Hilfiger doesn't have orange clothes? I mean, for this very reason, because it's not becoming. By the way, I have good news from the Weight Watchers people. They're not totally ruling out the idea of you doing ads for them. Oh, that's great. Which is a long way from, oh, we don't want a convicted murderer. They sort of signed off on the fact that I'm a convicted. That's been the stumbling block. Right. They do feel you've lost the weight and you look great. They've, the negotiations have moved away from absolutely not, you've got to be kidding, to let's wait and see. Right. Let me ask you something, yeah. Johnny. How are you handling the fear? You know, I, I wake up in the middle of the night sweating. Is it hot in your cell? No. You ever see the movie about the, the Rosenbergs? Oh, no, I haven't Jules seen it. Jules and Ethel Rosenberg were elect- electrocuted. Yes. They were believed to be communist spies. Yes. It's been proven that they were, actually. Well, that's not the point. Oh. Boy, just, it would be so easy just to say one thing in their defense. Okay, they were innocent. Okay. It was during that movie that I developed my fear, which is a really profound fear of electric. Okay, can I just say one thing? Yeah. And I'm not a psychiatrist. Yeah. Or a... You haven't had your chest shaved by a large black man. You don't know that for a fact. Yeah. You really don't have to worry so much because, you know, it would be lethal injection when they do. What do you, you mean? Know? What are you talking about? Well, they're going to kill you by lethal injection. I'm not afraid of dying. I'm afraid of dying fat.